And welcome to another episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm your host, Steve Reserve. Special K, and tonight we're going to be doing Abita Andy Gator. It is a double box. It is 8% of the bottle. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Ah. Huh. Actually, I don't think they just put that on wrong, but that's upside down. It is. The back label's upside down. Back label's upside down. All right, so. What is this? A double box. It's a double box. It does not oh. look like a double box. No, it's super light for a double box. The hell is double box. So it's supposed to be a lighter double box. All right. So, 8% alcohol by volume, Abita. Abita's been hit or miss for me. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. They're purple haze. I like that. You know, it's, it's yeah, it's hit and miss. Um, head is a off white, like almost a cream color. Um, color is your typical straw, dark uh, straw. It's a little darker than your normal beers. Yeah. Nice and malty on the smell. Nothing like else. A little hoppy. Sweet like a double buck. Yeah, this is me. It's not offensive at all. Goes down smooth. This one's a little metallic, but it's probably from like being on the side. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's just kind of sweet and then malty, and there's nothing else there. I mean, it's not bad. It's a little grassy, too. Um, but it's not terrible. Mm. Mouth feels medium. Um, yeah. I'm not loving it. I'm not hating it. Uh, I think it's definitely slightly above average. So. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'll just give it a sit. I mean, I don't rate this kind of fast, but there's nothing. There's really nothing to talk about it about. It's, it's kind of boring. That's why I'm going to give it a 5.5, really. Yeah. Nothing really sticks out. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a little bit sweet, a little bit malty. There's nothing spectacular about it. There's no... And, you know, being Albita, it's probably a little pricey. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's a 5.5 for me. Price range, you know. Yeah, uh, I can't rem rem recommend this. There are better double, double box out there. There are. Um, and, yeah, it is a little pricey. Uh, it's just... Yeah, it's just not worth it. You recommend it? No. I give it a 5.5, but I'm not going to recommend it. Yeah, I just can't recommend it. Uh, there, like you said, there are better double boxes out there. Yeah, and we've had, like I said, we've done quite a few of Beta Beers on and off. I mean, we have, we have huge gaps between when we do them uh, yeah. on the show. But, you know, that's, we review what we have. To me, they're just a okay brewery. Like they're not amazing. Like they're no Three Floyds or you know Country Which, Boy or anything like that. Everything we've had from both of them has been great. Yeah, their cider's not available. So yeah, I told you that. Yeah. But all right, uh, that's our episode. If there's something you like to see on our channel, you leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Special K. I'm still reserved. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.